timing is everything, especially as it pertains to an IPO. This is a company that's not new. It was founded back in the early 90s, uh, but it's seen tremendous growth right now. It's hitting all sorts of trends with regard to ESG, with millennials, with vegans, and, and because of that, their sales were able to more than double last year. Uh, and there's you know, they've got all of these different tailwinds, such as partnerships with Starbucks and other independent coffee makers. Uh, they're in retailers, uh, much more prevalent in retailers, especially here in the U.S. They've got expansion plans for Asia, expansion plans for products. As a result, you see what happens with their stock price today, up 32 percent right now uh, in a market, an IPO market that's just been very, very uh, difficult in recent weeks. It is really it's an incredibly popular product. Just, you know, anecdotally mm -hmm. going into my local coffee place and a sign literally in the store that says we can't get Oatly. And they blame it on the partnership yeah. with Starbucks and some of the other bigger retail partners. But it's tremendously popular if anecdotal evidence tells you anything. Yeah, that actually happened to me, too, Scott, a couple weeks ago um, because I'm a big fan of oat milk. And they said that they, knew they can no longer have oat milk because they can't keep it stocked anymore due to uh, the fact that now it's got this partnership with Starbucks and so mm. they're pursuing other options. But you're right, very, very popular. It tastes good and it, you know, they have this whole kind of feel good idea as well. The fact that um, supposedly non-dairy milk is better for the environment. So that's another uh, benefit for, for Oatly today. Well, another, the mom and pops are clapping back at the big guys. They are. Get their Oatly. Sure are. Right. Thanks. <laughs>